So we made one more prototype, went back again to Katra to see what happens. And this prototype we also sent to Niti for trials. So Niti has a whole team of people, students working on industrial engineering. So they you know, did a lot of trials on this. They are the ones who told us that you need a headrest. So we, we provide a headrest for the pilgrim. Then we also got you know, challenging aspects of the dimensions. You can see these are the dimensions which are very critical because these are the spaces in which the porter is sitting. But now tell me, when the group comes together, there could be different heights of people, right? For their heights, they go and customize the production to their need. So now here I am coming with a standard design and the, and the dimensions are varying. So we had a tough problem and the same thing happens with uh, your mass production products. How will you make adjustability in this? If I add adjustability in this, what will happen? Longevity, cost, all those factors will come in. So we had a very tough uh, lesson of you know uh, studying the anthropometric data of all the porters, coming back onto the drawing board and checking out what exactly can we do with these dimensions. They were very happy because it was more compact. The center of gravity was taken very well. So they were you know extremely happy because when you do customized production at their end, sometimes you know the vendor doesn't do good work. So here we gave them excellent dimensions, excellent control. So they were very, very you know comfortable and happy. These are all the you know initial study of what all happens with their musculoskeletal discomfort because of those heavy loads. Even if you reduce 10 kilos or 5 kilos, you have tremendous amount of advantage. So that advantage we took uh, into our stride. And we, you know, uh, then we went and, you know, checked what happens with the final. So in the final one, they again came up with a lot of suggestions. They said the headrest actually makes the pilgrim sleep. And what happens if the patron sleeps on the palki? It goes out of balance. The guy is like, you know, going like that and getting up like that. And then the porters are waking up the guy. Sonamat, Sonamat. The people are sitting in the palki, not supposed to sleep. You're putting them on a swing and you're asking them not to sleep. It's like that. So it's, 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 so how do you bring in that discomfort so that they don't sleep? So what is more important, more comfort and, and risky fall or discomfort and safe journey? Very big challenge. These are called trade-offs in design. And I have Niti, uh, you know, from they say that no, no, we want to make the you know, person very comfortable. There's no question about that. And I would say no, no, we need to trade off comfort to safety. So the headdress was removed, the rest of the patterns were very good, the dimensions were accurate, they wanted a very good footboard over here so that the, the pilgrim doesn't slip off. So we gave a wonderful footboard to them, we gave a place for them to store their bags, if you can see the place for bags, strong grips, correct ergonomic incline. And with all that we you know again went back to our study of you know what's happening with, with the park. You know we already came to the fourth product, we need to now move fast. So the weights are ranging from 38 kg to 70 kg, the current palki. So we want to at least bring them down to 34, 32, 30. Even one kilo less is great. Porters are required to trek for 28 kilometers in a day up, up and down hill. They usually take 4.5 hours, so it's pretty arduous. Due to the heavy load on the shoulder, they shift you know, quite a bit, we saw that. So the shifting should be very convenient and easy. Our major focus is to reduce the strain, should increase porter comfort and should not destroy the current livelihood porter. This is very important. The livelihood you know, should not go, it should become more comfortable and easy for them. We again had some very you know, important study from the anthropometric data. Niti again you know, pitched in with their studies and fine-tuned the dimensions effectively uh, after the studies. So we fine-tuned the gaps between the first porter, the second porter, the third and the fourth make our final design. 